Anytime you start talking about the topic of survival, the subject of survival kits is sure to come up pretty quick. And the challenge, at least for me, is always to, to come up with a survival kit that is small enough so you can fit it in your pocket or, or somewhere you'll always have it on you, but yet it contains stuff that will actually help you survive. And we've looked at a few different survival kits on the channel before. Today we're going to take a look at one from my friend David at Ultimate Survival Tips and Tiny Survival. I'm talking about the Pocket 45 Advanced EDC Survival Kit. And we're going to bust this thing open and see what's in here coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. And if you're very astute, you may notice that I'm not wearing my glasses right now because uh, they're the uh, photosensitive kind or whatever. They get dark outside and I hate them. They bug the crap out of me. I'll never buy that kind of lenses again but I digress. <laughs> anyway, so that's a little free tip for you. If you're thinking about that, you might want to rethink it. I don't know. So anyway, um, as I said, you know, survival kits and, are, are a very popular topic and, and they're also, I think, a very handy thing to have. But uh, in my opinion, it, if you really want to have a functional, useful survival kit, it's, it's got to have at least two requirements. First, it's got to be small enough to where it'll fit in your pocket where you'll have it with you because it, if it's too big, you're not going to have it with you. I don't care what you think, you won't when you need it and it won't do you any good. And so second of all, it's got to have some stuff in it that'll actually help you survive. So uh, I think those are two pretty big criteria and you can put those in whatever order you want. So anyway, um, as I said, we've done, we looked at several different survival kits on the channel before. In fact, at the time I make this video, my number one viewed video and the only one with over a million views at this point is the survival kit in a can review that my kids got me kind of as a, as a joke and wanted me to review it several years back. Took a look at that one. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pocket 45 Advanced EDC Survival Kit from my friend David at Ultimate Survival Tips and he started a company called Tiny Survival and you may recall we've taken a look at this Tiny Survival Guide here before. This is a really really nice um, very very functional useful little survival guide and we've taken a look at the Tiny Survival card here and we'll, we'll take uh, we'll, we may do a quick revisit of these things in just a minute but um, instead of me rambling on what I thought we'd do we're going to take this thing I've not opened it kind of looked at you can see the, the contents back here but we're going to take you down to the old stump top we're going to open this thing up and we're going to see exactly what's in there so you can make a determination as to whether you think this is a, uh, a good survival kit or not. And you know what's coming. We're going to do that right after this word from one of our sponsors. This video is sponsored by my friends at Sportsman's Guide, your one-stop shop for all kinds of gear pertaining to camping, survival, and general preparedness. I've been a customer for Sportsman's Guide for a number of years now. I'm happy to have them as a sponsor for the channel. I encourage you to check them out. I think you'll be glad you did. Okay, we are back. So without any further rambling, let's get down to the old stump top and get to doing some of that survival kit stuff. Okay, here we are at the old stump top and I've got some stuff spread out here just to kind of show you um, what's available. They have not just survival kits, they've got this uh, Pocket 45 and the Pocket 30. They've got different, different size survival tins, you can put them in. They've got the tiny survival guide, the, the tiny knife sharper, and the tiny survival card. They've also got a survival sling that's on the website. So, and we'll talk about this stuff as we go. But the reason I bring this up, by the way, is because you can get, you can bundle this stuff up and create your own bundle. And you can get like the survival kit and the survival guide. You can add a knife sharpener to it. You can, you can do all this stuff on the website and bundle, make whatever kind of kit you want. And then, by the way, you can save 10% on whatever you decide to, to buy by using the coupon code survival on purpose, all one word. So let's uh, put this aside for a minute and we'll go ahead and look down here at the uh, survival kit first, because I know what's going to happen. If I don't, people are going to say you rambled for 45 minutes talking about all this stuff, except the survival kit. So you can see, first of all, that the kit comes in, in a really heavy duty Ziploc bag. And then let's just dump everything out. Okay. I went on and, uh, kind of sorted this out a little bit so it's not quite as confusing maybe, but kind of go down the list to see what's in here. First of all, there's a 1.5 liter food grade water bag and you can see it has a Ziploc closure on it so you can seal it up when you got your water. And then it has a flat bottom, it opens up like this so it'll stand up when it's full of water, half full of water. Just makes it a lot easier to deal with for sure. And that is again, uh, 1.5 liters. Then there are also two Aquatab water purification tablets. Each one of them purifies one liter. So we got two liters of water purification there. We have two Ranger bands and 
got to find them. There's one here, one small ranger band here. And another one in here. And a little bit uh, a little bit longer, thinner one. So these are very useful for, for, for securing stuff, or you know, for fastening things. Um, and they also make great fire extenders. So there's that. There's a mini LED flashlight. And it has a uh, replaceable battery. So it just gives you a nice little light that you can have uh, with a little key keychain ring on it. You could take this off if you want it to be smaller, but you get that unless you maybe clip it on your on your uh, gear or whatever. There's triple antibiotic first aid ointment, which is also a fire extender because this is made from petroleum jelly, so that, that's a, a dual purpose item. There is are there are two band-aids medium flexible strips. These are uh, looks like the uh, let's just see. About to mess up the uh, yeah these are the fabric strips so those are, are good ones not little cheap not cheap ba cheap band-aids there's one alcohol prep pad which again is for first aid and a fire extender there is 12 by 12 inches by 1.8 inch duct tape this is bright orange so it's good for signaling it's good for repairing your gear it's good for first aid it's also good for again tender and fire stink extender so there's that Speaking of fire, you know I got I got to have me some fire. There is a small ferro rod, and it has an, a bright orange handle, which I like because you don't want to lose it, right? And then you can um, let's just see if it works. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try using using some of this stuff to start us a fire in just a minute. So we'll see. There's the ferro rod. There also. Three strike anywhere. Let's just jump this whole, whole little kit out here. We're we'll jumping onto the plastic. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see if we can get it all out without poking ourselves. There's some sharp stuff in there. And this is pretty cool. We'll show that in a minute. So there are three strike anywhere matches. We're going to see how well they strike somewhere in a minute. Put those over there. There are, is it? There is a book of 20 matches as a backup, so paper matches. There are two tender quicks, compressed fire tenders. Those are really, really handy things to have. Those things are great. There is um, one mini candle, which is also a really great thing to have for uh, fire starting fires and just for, for, for a lot of stuff like that, for sterilizing you know, needles or blades or whatever for first aid, anything you need to do with that. There is... It's also, you can use it for light, believe it or not. How about that? A candle for light. There's a mini Fresno lens, which is a magnifier. They're called a solar fire starter. I'll be honest with you. I've not had a lot of luck with these little Fresno lenses. But if you're trying to get a splinter or something out of your finger or somewhere, it really could be helpful. Um, there is an emergency whistle, which is, you know, a whistle is one of the things that I think that everybody should have with them at all times, especially in the woods. Let's just try this one out pretty stinking loud okay there's that then there is 40 feet of line and this is fishing repair first aid snares and even floss and it's just um pretty stinking strong it's like it's like wax line it's almost like dental floss but it's not quite but let's just see Ow, okay it hurts it's strong <laughs> 40 feet of that on a little plastic spool so it's not just a wad of line like some of the uh some of the first aid kits i've seen Pretty good there. There are three small fishing hooks. One, two, and three right there. I'm going to put them on the Fresno lens so I don't lose them. There is one fishing lure. Just a little, little rubbery, lurey thingy. There is supposed to be... One fishing swivel in here. What did I do with the swivel? All right, we'll find it in a minute. It's probably underneath something here. I'm bad about losing this. Oh, here it is. Okay. One fishing swivel. So that's pretty good for your lure. Let's go on the line. There is a cork stopper, which makes for a bobber and a compass float. And we'll talk about that in just a second, about the compass float. There are three little split shot, uh, little sinkers. There they are. Okay. There is a, 
There are two safety pins, which are always something that's handy to have. There is, hmm, let me get this thing. There's a needle here, which is, is pre-magnetized for the uh, point to go north. And the reason that is cool is because not only is it good for, it's a multi-purpose item, but um, it's also good for creating a compass. Uh, and there's a, they have a, this compass kit here. That this thing again is pre, is pre um, magnetized, and then it comes with this waterproof compass disc, which is designed to get to be used with the needle and the cork, and a lid from a Nalgene water container to create a compass, which is pretty cool. And Dave showed me that at Shot Show, and I'm pretty impressed with it. It's uh, and we'll, we'll probably do a separate video about that at some point in time because I'm not going to do it in this video, but um, that's a pretty neat concept, I thought. Then also, there is a 12 by 10 inch section of aluminum foil, which is good for cooking, signaling. You can even make a little water container out of it and, and boil some water. There are two four inch zip ties, which are good for repairing your gear and different utilities. Or maybe even for, for making a trap. There are two orange twist ties, which are the same thing. Good for repairs and fixing your stuff. There is one pencil, which is good for writing, or you can sharpen this up for kindling. There's a piece of paper, which is good for making notes, drawing yourself maps, um, or use it for kindling. Then there is a razor blade, which is a good cutting tool, obviously. There's one Jolly Rancher, which is uh, good for energy. Then the uh, fishing kit comes in a two inch by two inch zip baggie, which is good. Then there's the three by four inch kit bag, which is here, which is a heavy duty bag. And then there's the kit list, which comes with it also, which is also, it's burnable, makes good kindling. So, and I, I, I forgot this, there is one piece of gauze sponge. So, um, I didn't even see that on here, but, but it's also really good for, uh, First day, but it's also good for tender. So there's that. That's the 45 uh, Pocket 45 Survival Kit. Okay, I wanted to go ahead and try this fire stuff out because, you know, I want to make sure it's going to work, right? Because you know, here's, here's the thing about these kind of survival kits. If you're going to buy a survival kit that you're going to depend on for survival, you need to test this stuff out at home and don't just trust that it's going to work. So we're going to cut a little bit of this, this, this tender quick off because I don't think it'll take much. You don't just buy something and stick it in your in, in your pack and, and, and trust it without checking it out. We'll, we'll fluff this out some. Pretty good bit, actually. And then we're going to see how well this little ferro rod works. Because this is a small one. It's not this, you know. Let's see. There we go. And that little chunk there will burn quite a while. And just to show you what um, the uh, Ranger Band can do. If I can get it on there without it. So you see it kind of flare up. So there's that, right? So pretty good there. And, and the duct tape will do the same thing, but that's a little bit of an example. So definitely uh, I got the job done. Now, this is a strike anywhere match. Everything I've got out here is wet. So I'm not sure if I can find anything to strike it on, to be honest with you. Let's try this uh, G10 handle. Yep, there we go. So it worked. So it's great that this stuff works. It works like it's supposed to. So while we're here, let me just show you this other stuff. First of all, I just want to show you, I was able to get it all back in the pack and it's really smaller than it started, I think. Um, so still not a little bit bigger than an Altoids 10, but definitely will fit in their, in their uh, large pocket 10. And I'm pretty sure it'll fit in the medium because the medium is three and a half by three and a half. This one is four by three and a quarter. So if it'll fit this way and it'll fit this way, it'll fit in the, in the square one. So uh, it'll fit definitely in your pocket. That's what I think is cool about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's just really, really uh, compact and able to, uh, something you can have with you, which is cool. Uh, so I said I was gonna show you this other stuff real quick. We've taken a look at the tiny survival card before. I did a 
I'll put a link to that video up in the corner here on, on the card. But what's cool about this is, first of all, you see it's got a lot of different little parts and pieces in there. You can even sharpen this blade. It's stainless steel, pretty stiff. Uh, little needles, it's got fish hooks, it's got just all kinds of stuff here. But what I like about this one really, it comes on a magnetic backing here. So uh, you don't have to worry about these little pieces getting lost. You can punch them out and stick them back on there if you need them, which is pretty cool. There's that. And again, the price on this survival card is like uh, $19.97. And then real quickly, we'll take a, a quick recap of this tiny survival guide which i think is probably one of the coolest survival information resources i've ever seen it comes with a little magnifying card that you can also potentially use to start a fire again not have much luck with that but just uh if you haven't seen this you need to check that video out but it's uh it's got look at all this information on here this is printed on water resistant tear resistant paper and it has got just you name it it has got covers all kinds of information uh, and a very very handy little pocket guide and if you have a smartphone with you and you have ability to connect to the internet it's even got links on here you can scan to take you to videos and instructional videos and stuff so just a really really handy little survival guide it's, in my opinion this is one of the coolest um, pieces of survival information i've ever seen and then the price on this one is 9.97 and then finally I really think this is a cool deal too. This is the pocket, pocket wallet size sharpening, sharpening stone. It's a diamond stone, and you can see it's 600 grit on one side and 1,000 grit on the other, and it's a uh, fits right in your wallet. You can even put it in a little plastic baggie to keep it from getting dirty. But this will also fit right in a survival kit, so you could have a really good way to keep. Your, your, your knives sharp um, hopefully you've got a knife with you but if you don't and you've got the tiny survival card at least you can sharpen this blade up with it and, and use it so I wonder if I could repack this a little bit where it all fit in here what do you think so we'll start with the flat stuff we'll put the uh, sharpening stone in and I'm leaving these bags on here because I think they could come in handy in a survival situation so we'll leave those on there like that I know they take up a little room same thing with the tiny survival guide we'll put that in there and we'll take this part that is um, kind of flat. We'll put it over here. Let's see if we can get this bulky stuff to go in over here. Let's see. Put you in here like so. Press you down. Turn that flap is bothering me. Let me get this. Okay, here we go. We got a little, little gap here. We'll put the pencil in there. And we'll put this in here like so. We got this one here. We got a whistle here. And let's see if we can shut this thing pretty close pretty it's tight it's tight but let's just see what do you know so it's tight and it's 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 kind of crammed in there but it's all in there that'll all fit in your pocket that'll give you a survival card it'll give you the uh, survival guide it gives you a sharpener and an entire survival kit and a pocket size <laughs> combo kit pretty cool in my opinion you can put this sticker on here and you'll even know it is a survival kit so we'll put it there for now so there you go okay well that was a hopefully somewhat coherent look at the pocket 45 survival kit from tiny survival and ultimate survival tips and some of the accessories you can you can get to go along with it so um let me try to wrap this up and wind this up and, and not not ramble along for very long so first of all as i said at the beginning of the video two criteria that i have at least for a a i think that a survival kit needs to meet is one it needs to be able to carry it on your person it needs to be convenient to carry so you'll have it with you uh, this one definitely meets that criteria it, it fits right in your pocket even with all the extra stuff this will fit in your pocket so meets that first criteria but the second criteria is maybe even should be the first is it useful does it have stuff in it that's going to help you survive um, in my opinion this does i think um, the first thing that's, that leaps out at me is that it is sort of fire heavy i like that <laughs> you know i like me some fire right i mean it's got strike anywhere matches it's got paper matches it's got a ferro rod it's even got a fresnel lens which is in my opinion kind of iffy but it's there but uh, several different multi-use fire extenders too you've got the uh not only two completely fire i guess fire dedicated tender tabs you've got the uh ranger bands which are fire extenders you've got the uh, antibiotic ointment which is fire extinguishers. 
extenders, you've got the alcohol pad, which is, which is good for fire, and you've got duct tape, which is good for fire, plus all the other uses. So I like the fire heaviness of it. I think fire is really important. And if you've seen my bow drill efforts, you know that I also think you need to have something with you that's gonna make some fire. Um, I would stick a lighter in this kit also. You can put this little, uh, this little big lighter in there and it probably, you, you, you have room in the back for that too. So not a problem with fire. The, um, the other thing I like about it, that stands out to me is the uh, water bag. I like that food grade water bag. It lets you carry water, it seals up, and you can potentially even boil water in if you, if you use stone boiling. We may do a video and check that out and see if that works. Um, those are my two, my two favorite things in it. Um, I like the fishing kit. I like the, uh, the compass, bottle cap compass is really cool. And I will do a separate video on that and show you how that works because I think it's so cool. But all in all, in my opinion, I think it's, it's a really good survival kit. Also, I really like the way that the, the, the tiny survival website is set up so you can build a kit however you want it. And you can um, kind of, if, if you bundle it together, you get a little bit of a discount. You'll also get a 10% discount by using the coupon code survival on purpose, all one word. Don't forget that. So anyway, I think this is a really, really good option for a pocket survival kit. By the way, thanks again to David from Tiny Survival for sending me home from SHOT Show with this stuff so I could play with it and show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Put out a new video every Friday and Saturday. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, I invite you to subscribe to my weekly newsletter, survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe. Every week I'll send you an email with some links to the videos we've done that week and maybe some other cool stuff too. So I really appreciate all the support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.